Hello YouTube and welcome to another load balancer tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you how to monitor HA proxy using Prometheus and Grafana. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's check if our HA proxy is still running. So here I'm using this uh, actually little script to test if my three web server backup actually are running. So here I'm querying actually my HA proxy server. And you can see, as you have seen on my previous videos, that the round robin algorithm is working just fine. And now we're gonna actually try to monitor this HA proxy load balancer using Prometheus, okay? So first thing first, what is Prometheus? So if you open your browser and type just Prometheus, here we go. You can see here, this little wiki here, Prometheus is a free software application used for event monitoring and alerting, okay? So here we'll be just using it for actually monitoring our HA proxy load balancer, okay? So first thing first, I have to install it on my system. Here I'm using Arch Linux, but it depends on your distribution. For example, if you are using a Debian based like Ubuntu, you can just type apt install Prometheus. But for Arch Linux, it's pretty easy. The package manager is Pacman and with minus capital S we type the name of our package so in this case it's Prometheus here we go and I can provide my credentials and it will be actually installed so I will just type yes and here we go it will check the repositories and install it okay here we go it's done so actually uh, we need also another piece of, of software in order to use Prometheus okay actually we need also HA proxy exporter okay so let's go once again to our browser and type HA proxy exporter okay and here you'll find a github actually a repository here so if you go to the definition so HA proxy exporter is actually a simple server that scraps HA proxy stats and export them via HTTP for Prometheus conception okay so here actually this uh, HA proxy exporter will export our statistics okay to Prometheus for consumption okay but let me remind you actually this HA proxy stats so if you remember on my last videos if you go to uh, port 8080 slash stats you will find the default statistics page that comes with a proxy okay so actually here uh, if you go here you can see cv csv export uh, if you click on it actually it will uh, export your uh, statistics to an csv format here we go so this is the format csv format for your statistics so actually each a proxy uh, exporter will export all this data in csv format to prometheus in order to get monitored okay so this is the principle so we need first of all each a proxy and each a proxy to export this data to prometheus okay and in order to run actually each uh, proxy I will be using docker with simple command I can 
install this HA proxy server okay so here I'm going to my terminal and I will run this command to run HA proxy exporter as docker container so this is the command okay so here of course docker must be installed in your uh, system so me I already done that you can see a lot of videos how to install docker in Linux so as you can see here it's using uh, the server HA proxy exporter is using port 9101 and we are downloading the image from kuai.io repository and not uh, docker hub okay and with some parameters here so HA proxy scrap you are EI actually we provide here the IP address of your load balancer and also the port so if you remember for my first videos I configured the statistic page on this port so you may use another different port actually the setting you will find them in your uh, HA proxy that CFG file okay and of course here we are using C SV format so I will run this container here here we go so now let's open another terminal and see if docker is actually running if our container is running so I'll connect to the same server here here we go sudo Docker PS and indeed you can see that our container is running on this port here 9101 okay so we are done with each a proxy exporter it's running in the background as a container it's just fine and it grabs this data or actually we say it scraps this data to Prometheus okay so let's uh, now open uh, Prometheus so by default it's using port uh, if my memory is good 9090 okay so this is our Prometheus here So Prometheus now is running on port 9090 but we need actually to add a target okay, okay to Prometheus config file in order to use it with HA proxy exporter okay so let me show you how you can do that so the default location for the config file of uh, Prometheus let me first clear the screen so I'll use here Vim you can use nano or any text editor you want so by default it's in the directory etc Prometheus and the name of the config file is Prometheus.yaml okay here we go so this is the default config file for Prometheus now we need to add actually an, an entry here to specify the target which is in this case each a proxy exporter okay so i will hit i in order to get to insert mode and i will add here another job okay actually i have to name it uh, whatever i want let's just name it for example uh, ha exporter ha proxy exporter okay here we go and we need to add the static config with IP address that we have configured okay static uh, config 
so make sure to not make a mistake otherwise it will not work so here static config and we need target so in this case the target is also on my localhost and the port if you remember is 9101 so this is the port for our HA proxy exporter server that is running as a docker container okay so this is just a command that you need to add to the Prometheus config file so I will escape here and I will save my file here we go and of course I need to restart my Prometheus server so I will just do that sudo system ctl restart our Prometheus here we go I have no error which is good so now let's go back to our uh, Prometheus uh, web page and let's try to refresh it to see here we go so here in this query field if we type HA proxy here we go you can see all the different actually uh, parameters that getting actually exported or scrapped from the statistic page of HA proxy okay so here it means that everything is working good so for example you can execute that and get some uh, data here so here you can see for example each a proxy server up and you can see our three backend server here so i name it each uh, web one web two and web three so now you are sure that each a proxy exporter is working with prometheus because it exports all the data to prometheus okay but as you can see here it's just a query we can use also graphs here but it's better to use another uh, tool called grafana so if you type grafana and you can see here grafana is a multi-platform open source analytics and interactive visualization web application so normally we use it a lot with Prometheus in order to display the data that are actually uh, in Prometheus so let's try to install this Grafana tool here and link it with this Prometheus and in order to get the data in a graphical way so of course we need to install our uh, Grafana server so here it depends also on your system but it's simple as apt-get install grafana so for me i will just use uh, pacman grafana here we go actually i mistype it it's grafana with f not the ph okay so sudo pacman minus capital S grafana here we go and I will just hit yes and the packages are being installed here we go are done let's try to see the status of grafana if it's running or not grafana it's not running so I will start it here we go it started okay now it started and by default the port for Grafana is 
3000 so let's open our web browser to the port 3000 here we go so instead of Prometheus here I'll just type 3000 and you can see that my Grafana is actually running so the first thing that you should do is to add a data source so by default you can see here that uh, Prometheus here is an option for a data source you can also use it with Graphit or InfluxDB so this tool is pretty pretty interesting or with some other databases like Postgres or MySQL but here I will just choose Prometheus here and of course here this is the default port we just need to replace this localhost with IP address of our uh, load balancer or where you have installed Prometheus so for me it's HTTP 192.168.1.78 and the port is 9090 okay and you leave the default uh, save and test so you can see here the green means that the data source is working actually so if you go to your Grafana or actually dashboard you can see that you get your HA proxy here and you click on it and as you can see the data are getting populated so here we have backend up and down we can actually uh, just run once again our uh, script in order this is our script that is running okay so the script is querying our load balancer so you can see here the load robin algorithm and of course here you can see the refresh time here is five minutes by I can narrow it to for example five seconds here and you can see here it begins to populate some data so we have here the total requests the sessions also and we have a lot of lot of lot of actually we call that metrics and in a graphical way you have here for example the true throughput okay the connections so you can see how easy it is to actually get uh, or to monitor our load balancer each a proxy using Prometheus and Grafana of course which is a visualization and analytic tool so that was just a brief introduction to monitoring each a proxy load balancer as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye